Hi, welcome back to another video and in this video I'll just be going over how to upload faster on Creative Fabrica and I'm trying to detail my journey so far on Creative Fabrica so if you want to check out this video it's just been my first two months on Creative Fabrica and then this video down here will just show you how to set up and apply for your own account. Now, some of the great things about selling on Creative Fabrica are that you are able to earn up to 75% on each sale and you do also get paid for just listing products on Creative Fabrica. It isn't a lot, but it is based on the amount of products that you have in your store. So the more products you have, then the more potential you have to earn. So I'm trying to upload as much as possible and I roughly have over 200 listings on Creative Fabrica at the moment. So just before we get into this video, definitely check out this video by Gene R. He's earned over $4,000 with Creative Fabrica. And I've used a lot of his fantastic tips to earn money on Creative Fabrica. So definitely check out that video and subscribe to his channel as well. And another channel to take a look at is CF Sellers. Now her channel provides a lot of detailed information on Creative Fabrica. So check out her channel and subscribe also. Now, one of the things that have helped me boost my income on Creative Fabrica is uploading five to 10 products per day. I haven't been as consistent lately, but when I do upload to Creative Fabrica, I do like to do it in a batch of five or 10 products. So to show you for this example, what I am gonna use is a coloring page. So in order to upload anything, you first need to go to your dashboard. And then after that, you can see a few options to the side, such as adding font, add graphic, add needlework, add embroidery, and for a coloring page, illustration, or any type of KDP interior, you should choose the option of add graphic, and it will take you to the current page as showing. So as I mentioned before, I like to upload in batches of five or 10, and this works quite well if you are uploading a similar type of product. So in this instance, coloring pages. So what I am gonna do is quickly duplicate these pages four times, as we already have this page, which will make it five, and then quickly refresh those pages just so that there's no issues with uploading. And once that is all done, what you're gonna need is a Word document or any kind of software you can type something as we're gonna use this as our template. Now, the first time you come up with these details, it may take a little bit of time, but once you have done it, then it'll save you a lot of time in the long run. And you can see on the screen, the three titles that I have underlined is product name, description, and tags. And as I mentioned before, we're gonna be uploading coloring pages. So the product name will be just coloring page. And before that, I can always add you know, fox, shark, flower, animal, coloring page. And for the descriptions, this doesn't have to be really complicated or super detailed, but just make sure you do include words that people are searching for. As unlike KDP, I've noticed that through your words in the description, it can actually be found when people are searching for your product. So take the time to look through other people's descriptions and create your own. And then finally, just looking at the tags. You might wanna take a look through other people's coloring pages, tags, and then just add a few generic words to your template. Now, once that's done, then you can start copying and pasting some of this information. So the product name will go into the product name here. Then we can see that the description, just simply copy and paste that again into the description here. And the tags, you can just copy and paste that at the bottom and then do that for the other four pages. Now, the good thing about having this template is now that you can go in there and make the changes that you needed. So for example, this first page is going to be a fox coloring page. And in the description, I'm quickly going to change that word to fox. And then I can add any more detail that I need. And then with the tags, I can also add more details such as fox, animal, and so on. Then with the other pages, I can detail them how I want to. So as I mentioned before, if I want to do a shark coloring page or Panda, I can quickly make the small changes that I need to. And then all you need to add is the price. So just make sure you check the prices of other coloring pages and price it competitively. The category, I'll type in the word coloring and I'll choose the coloring pages and books kids. Then I'll simply upload the product image and product files. I would then tick all of these options at the bottom just to give myself the best chance of getting more sales. And then finally, 
tick at the bottom to confirm the terms and condition and then finally submit. And usually it only takes less than a minute and a product is up and I can get sales right away. So it's just about repeating the same process and creating various templates for the products that you're uploading. But the more you do this, the quicker you get at it and it becomes a lot easier. Now, if you do have any questions in the comments, let me know. I'm always happy to help. Or if you'd like to see a video on SEO or more income reports regarding Creative Fabrica, then let me know.